In 2 Kings chapter 8, we see the story of a woman who had been helped by the prophet Elisha back in chapter 4. Elisha had prayed for her and God blessed her with a son who later died but was brought back to life. However, in this chapter, we see that the woman is in a desperate situation once again. She's told to flee her city because a famine was coming and she goes to the king to ask for help. And it's no coincidence that at that very moment, the king is talking to Elisha's servant, Gehazi. And he asks Gehazi about the woman and he tells him about her son being brought back to life. And then it says in verse six, is this true? The king asked her and she told him the story. So he directed one of his officials to see that everything that she had lost was restored to her, including the value of any crops that had been harvested during her absence. What a wonderful example of God's provision and care for his people. This woman had been helped by God before, and he was faithful to help her again in her time of need. As we go through our own trials and difficulties, we need to remember that God is always with us and that he is faithful to provide for us. And then in 2 Chronicles chapter 21, we see a much darker story. Jehoram, the son of King Jehoshaphat, takes the throne of Judah and quickly turns away from God. It says in verse 6, Jehoram did what was evil in the Lord's sight. And then in verse 11, it says, he had built pagan shrines in the hill country of Judah and had led the people of Jerusalem and Judah to give themselves to pagan gods and to go astray. Then God sends a message to Jehoram through the prophet Elijah, warning him of the consequences of his actions. But Jehoram refuses to listen and he dies a painful death. This story is a powerful reminder of the importance of staying faithful to God when we turn away from him, we open ourselves up to all kinds of pain and suffering. But when we remain steadfast in our faith, even in the midst of difficult circumstances, God is faithful to bless us and guide us. So I want to encourage you today. Remember that God is always with us, even in our darkest moments, and that he is faithful to provide for us when we trust in him. Let us always remember the words of Proverbs 3, five and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths.